Strange Carrier here. Um, this time I want to talk about some of the bands that have helped shape who I am as an individual. Um, I'll start with the first band that I remember being my favorite growing up, and that was the country duo Montgomery Gentry. Um, it was a band that my mom got me into, and I don't remember why this stuck in my head, but I remembered that um, one of the guys' names was Troy, but his partner always called him T-Roy, and I thought that was so cool at like age eight, that like, T-Roy, like, that's cool. And a bunch of their songs um, were what I listened to through middle school and into high school when I finally kind of like started discovering other bands because up until like middle school when I changed schools, I didn't know that other music existed other than country because it's all my parents played in the car. We'd listen to country radio or country CDs. My mom's favorite is Alan Jackson. I've, I've been to like five Alan Jackson concerts that I cannot remember because I was like three. Another band that I really like is Panic at the Disco. I mean, Brendan Urie has been very paramount in kind of like introducing me to stuff that wasn't country. I'm thrilled whenever he puts out something new because it's just, I like Brendan Urie, I like his voice. He just, I haven't heard a bad song from him. Um, speaking of Brendan Urie and Panic at the Disco, um, I first discovered the band Mr. Wives as an opening act for Panic at the Disco. And at first I couldn't quite understand what she was saying in that didn't really thrill me about the music. Then they played a song that they had just released called Drummer Boy, and it like lit a spark in me, and I was like, okay, I guess I'm a big fan of Mr. Wives now. And I actually used their song Rock Bottom as the background music for the like the highlight reel that I just released. So if you can go check that out and listen to the music behind it, it's a really good song. <laughs> the band that my boyfriend got me into was Blink-182. Again, you know, I'd heard some of their songs here and there, but I never knew who sang them, because I, again, I don't really look into who sings what, I just listen to songs that I like. And we recently went to a Blink-182 concert, and it was so much fun, you guys. And I've been listening to them more and more as the pandemic goes on, just because I love that, that angsty, like, pop-punk sound, and it makes me feel like I have some control over what's going on. And, like, it fills me with good feelings that I had forgotten about. And lastly, I'll talk about my favorite band, which is Paramore. Some of you may have figured that out from the fact that my old wrestling gear was a direct ripoff of Paramore's Riot album. I mean, the cares and the noise, they were all over the place. Misery Business was the song that got me into Paramore, was, I'm sure it was for a bunch of people. But also, Crush 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 was on Guitar Hero World Tour for the Nintendo DS. And that's where I first heard the song, but it never clicked in my head until I actually started listening to Paramore. And what really got me into Paramore, um, I was dating this guy at the time and he did not like Paramore. And I showed him a Paramore song, he said, oh, she's awful. And I was like, well, now they're my favorite band, screw you. And we broke up like a week later, so I guess <laughs> Paramore's better than a boyfriend. All right, that's some of my favorite bands. Um, I don't know if Patreon lets you leave comments, but if it does, um, leave some comments below on some of your favorite bands and what inspires you to be happy and be creative. That's it for today's video. Bye bye